It's Dollar Tree taking on Walmart. Who is going to come out on top? Hey guys, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Before we get started today, I just want to introduce you to the newest member of our family. Everybody say hi to our new puppy. This is Apollo. Apollo, say hi. Apollo, say hi. Hi. What are you sniffing? Look at my big paws. Apollo is about nine or ten weeks old, and he is the mellowest, most snuggliest, cuddliest puppy there ever was. And we are in love with him. You're such a cuddle bug. You sure is. Apollo, say, Apollo, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? You want to sleep like a baby? With a new puppy, there's so much hope and excitement, and it can be easy to forget how crazy things are in the world today. But it's important not to lose sight of everything that's going on around us. That's when people get blindsided, when you're not paying attention. Now, I'm certainly not a financial guru, but if you pay attention to the folks who are, it's clear that we're in for a tough road ahead. Lots of folks are very concerned about their investments, their money, and just everything that's going on in our economy as well as around the world. There are a lot of things at play that are going to affect both the supply of food available to us and our ability to afford it. So even though I'm not a financial guru, one thing that we've always done is invest in food. And if I was gonna give you one piece of advice, which I'm not, but if I were, it would be to invest in food, invest in supplies, but above all else, invest in food. Invest in some physical security items for your family, whatever form that comes in for you. Invest in some medical supplies, in a supply of emergency antibiotics, invest in a garden, or at the very least, a seed vault for the just in case. This is the time of year that a lot of folks are getting tax returns. Spend them wisely, folks. I may not be a financial guru, but I can tell you that food is something you will always use, and it's one of the only things that's guaranteed to go up in value. It can also be an investment for your retirement years. That's something I've actually been seeing more and more of in my Thrive Life business, is people building a food storage now while they're working to help lighten the load after they retire and they have to get by on less. That's something that I'd never thought of and that I'm seeing more and more. You need to invest wisely though, just like with anything else. Don't fill your closets and your house with a bunch of food that you won't cook and your family won't eat just because it's on some prefab prepping list. You need to develop a plan for a food storage that works for you by stocking up on the shelf-stable things that you eat and use and finding shelf-stable alternatives for the perishable items that you use. Only store as much as you can consume before it goes bad and rotate. Look for food with a 25-year shelf life when possible because you can store a lot more of it without the risk of losing it. Document it all for insurance purposes, just like you would anything else of value in your home. And of course, make sure you're getting the best possible price for everything you buy. Buy low. With that sentiment in mind, everything in my haul today came from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. I feel like those are two stores that the majority of us do have access to that tend to have really good prices. If you know me, you know I'm always comparing prices. Everything I've got here today is something that I've compared at both stores and chosen one over the other. And I'm gonna tell you which store went out and why. There's a lot of really basic prepping supplies, a lot of really basic food storage items and basic prepping supplies. So if you're just getting started, a lot of these things are gonna be things that you might also wanna pick up. So let's see what we've added to our prepper pantry this week. Stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll tally it up and see who won out for this haul. So I've got the quintessential prepper combo here of beans and rice. I've got eight pounds of pinto beans and then I've got 20 pounds of white rice. Now, just because this is what comes to everyone's mind when you think of storing food and having an emergency food storage, beans and rice, if this is not something that your family eats, if your family doesn't like this, if you do not, don't know how to cook it, this doesn't belong in your pepper pantry. That being said, there are reasons why these are such a popular thing to be a basis of a prepper pantry and that's for several reasons number one both of these things can store a really long time especially the rice i mean the beans can store a long time but the longer the beans are stored the harder they are and the longer it takes to soften them up, them up when cooking you can add some baking soda to the water and things like that but the second reason is that they're a complete protein when served together they give you some complete um, protein nutrition and then the third reason is that they're really really inexpensive so you really can stock up on a lot of these um, for not a whole lot of money 
For me, Walmart is the winner here because I like to buy these things in bulk. With the pinto beans, Walmart is definitely the winner because this eight pound bag of pinto beans was uh, $6.48, which made it 81 cents a pound for the pinto beans. Dollar Tree had a one pound bag of pinto beans. They sell them in the one pound bag for obviously $1.25. So that's $1.25 a pound. So this was a no brainer. Now, even if you don't eat cooked pinto beans, something else that you can do with these beans that's really cool is you can actually soak them and then sprout them and grow bean plants and you can get fresh green beans from these plants. And then if you let them um, set longer and ripen longer, mature longer, you can get some more dried pinto beans out of them. So it's really a very multi-purpose um, item to have in your prepper pantry. So if you're not accustomed to eating this, then it might be worth looking up a few recipes, trying them out with your family and trying to um, learn to incorporate these into your diet so that you can include them in your prepper pantry. Now the rice, this is just regular, basic, um, long grain white rice. This is gonna store the longest. We do store and buy brown rice too. You can't store it as long, so we don't store quite as much. But rice is really a great thing to have in your prepper pantry. I mean, this can serve the basis for so many meals and it can stretch some of your other ingredients and it can really fill some bellies. There are so many cultures out there who exist on, you know, a huge part of their diet is white rice. You can cook this up and you can put it under lots of different things any kind of canned soups or stews you can put on top of white rice you can mix this in with lots of different canned meats canned vegetables canned gravy or you know Campbell's soups and things like that you can make a casserole with it you can add this to any protein you can get to put together a an emergency pet food if you really need to for your dogs you can take any little bits of vegetables meats anything that you have and turn this into a fried rice there's lots of different ways that you can turn this into a meal from your prepper pantry so this is a really great thing to have. This 20 pound bag at Walmart is $10.97, making this rice only 55 cents a pound. Dollar Tree sells their white rice in a two pound bag at $1.25, making that 63 cents a pound. So this is cheaper if you, in the long run, if you end up buying in bulk. If you can't buy in bulk, if all you can scrape up is just a few extra dollars every week to add a little bit here and there to your prepper pantry and you need to buy in smaller quantities, then it's actually a better deal to buy the smaller bag at Dollar Tree than it is to buy the smaller bag at Walmart. And just a note about buying in bulk, I do like to buy in bulk. If you watch my hauls, you know that I tend to buy in bulk, but I'm able to do that because of my food storage. And that's another great benefit to having a food storage besides being prepared for emergencies, because I have all of the shelf stable ingredients that I need. When I grocery shop every week, I'm usually grocery shopping out of my food storage first and then filling in with any fresh stuff we need and replenishing the prepper pantry. So I actually, I use the Walmart um, grocery pickup service a lot. You have to have a $35 minimum to avoid a fee. And I usually actually have a hard time coming up with $35 in my cart so I can check out at any given time because we do have such a complete um, food storage and prepper pantry and working pantry and long-term pantry. It all kind of works together. So that's another benefit to having a food storage and building your food storage is that it allows you to buy things when it makes sense. You can buy in bulk and get better deals. You can buy things on sale and get better deals because you don't need them right when you need them. You can also have rice for breakfast. You can take leftover rice, milk, sugar, or any kind of sweetener, and maybe some cinnamon and cook that up. And you've got, you can eat that for breakfast just like a hot cereal. I used to do it with brown rice and milk and honey and cinnamon, but you can do it with any combination. So one place that Dollar Tree does really shine when it comes to rice is these pre-cooked rice pouches. Now I like to have these on hand because they are pre-cooked and you um, could eat them as is. They definitely are meant to be heated. They're meant to be heated in the microwave. If you're having a power outage, they can be heated in a pan or they can be warmed in a pot of um, hot water. There's lots of different ways you can do that, but they're already um, completely cooked. Now, Walmart used to have their own uh, store brand of these pre-cooked rice pouches, and they were still a little bit more than $1.25. I haven't seen them in my store anymore, and they haven't been available online, so I'm not even sure if they're making them anymore. My store does have the Uncle Ben's brand. Those are $2.33 a piece. So to get these um, name brand rice pouches for $1.25 is a great deal. This is Thai Kitchen Jasmine rice, which is great. This one is an organic. They have organic rice even. They have all sorts of brands, all sorts of varieties, very inexpensive, very convenient. You won't be able to store this type of pre-cooked rice as long as you can store the dry white rice, but they're still a good thing to have and just rotate through more frequently. Another type of rice that's good to have in your food storage 
is minute rice or instant rice. I didn't see any kind of minute rice or instant rice at Dollar Tree. I don't think I've ever seen it there. So let me know down in the comments if you're if you've ever seen uh, minute rice or instant rice at your Dollar Tree because I don't recall seeing it but so Walmart is a good source for that they do have a Walmart brand this is a jasmine rice so I could only get this in the minute name brand but but this is definitely another good rice to have in your prepper pantry and Walmart takes the win on this one so the next thing that I've got here is a bunch of instant mashed potatoes now these are the great value so Walmart wins out here for me these are only 98 cents this is the kind where you only have to add water. You don't have to add any butter or milk. It already has all those ingredients included. And that's why I think this is perfect for your prepper pantry. It's even why I prefer to use um, these over regular, just plain mashed potato flakes, even in my everyday you know, meals if we're using instant instead of fresh potatoes. But these are 98 cents at Walmart. Now Dollar Tree often has other brands that do, um, they, they come in a packet like this and they might have flavors that they do require butter and milk so you need to read carefully but right now at my Dollar Tree when I just went in they had the Idahoan brand which is the same brand that they have at Walmart for their you know name brand and they were cheaper than the Idahoan are at Walmart the Idahoan I think are $1.44 at Walmart and they were obviously $1.25 at Dollar Tree so if for some reason you really need to have the name brand then Dollar Tree is going to be your best bet but for me um, we're not that picky we use the Great Value brand and so we get these at Walmart Next, we have some canned veggies. Canned veggies are a great way to have veggies in your prepper pantry, at least the basic veggies, the basic corn, green beans, peas, things like that. These are the three that we use the most of. Um, we like to have a lot of these on hand. We also like to have a lot of freeze dried vegetables because we can have a lot better variety and a lot um, kind of fresher taste, but we do use a lot of canned vegetables, usually as a side dish, but you can use these as ingredients in meals. Like I said, these can combine with canned meats and something like a Campbell's soup or a gravy and something like rice or pasta and you can make lots of different meals with those combinations. Definitely Walmart is the winner on canned vegetables because these are only, they've actually been rolled back to 50 cents right now and they're never much more than that. Whereas Dollar Tree has cans of vegetables for $1.25. They do have the name brand, they have Del Monte. So if for some reason you really need to have the name brand, Dollar Tree might be the way to go for you. But for me, I don't notice a difference with these canned vegetables. Years and years ago, I used to go with the name brand and I thought that the um, store brands had a, a tinny taste, a metal taste, but I don't think that anymore. I don't know if I was just extra picky back then or if it was all in my head or if the vegetables in the cans have gotten better. But Walmart is definitely the winner on the canned vegetables as long as you don't really need to have the name brand. So the next thing I've got here is a bunch of different pasta. Once again, Walmart wins out for me on the pasta. Walmart's pastas, their basic pastas are gonna be a one pound package like the ziti for example, and then behind the ziti I have some rigatoni. I do prefer to buy whole wheat pasta when I can. It's a little bit more expensive, but some, some shapes like ziti, rigatoni, I don't usually find in the whole wheat, so I do buy those in the white. We don't use them as often as the more basic shapes that I can find in the whole wheat. The penne, um, the rotini, the elbow macaroni, and the, and the spaghetti. Now the pasta is cheaper at Walmart. Um, ever so slightly because Walmart's pasta is in the one pound package. The regular white pastas are 98 cents. And at Dollar Tree, they have a slightly larger package on most of them. And those are 20 ounces for $1.25. So if you do the math, it comes out to the Walmart pasta being just ever so slightly cheaper per pound than the Dollar Tree in the regular size packages. But where Walmart really shines is they have a couple of the most common shapes in um, larger size packages, which are cheaper per ounce. The elbows come in a three pound size at my store and the regular spaghetti comes in a four pound package at my store and that makes them even cheaper per ounce than the Dollar Tree pastas. Spaghetti is a great shape to have on hand if you're only going to store if you want your food storage to be more simple spaghetti is a great one to store. Um, it takes up less space than any other shape of pasta and you can make some great meals with some spaghetti and different kind of sauce. There's so many different kinds of sauce. I mean there's red sauce. Now if you want to get red sauce for your food storage Walmart is probably your best bet. They do have the hunts that they have in the aluminum cans and it's cheaper at Walmart than it is at Dollar Tree. That's not my favorite sauce. We will use it if we have to and we just spice it up a little bit. Our favorite um, red sauce is actually this, um, which we get at Save-A-Lot. 
and we do have a lot of homemade home canned spaghetti sauce. But besides spaghetti sauce, you can also do Alfredo. And one of the benefits of the Hunt sauce and the cans is that those cans are gonna store a little bit more easily than glass or plastic jars. They can be stored in rotating can racks, first in, first out can racks. They can be stored in cases a lot more stably than a jar would be able to. Besides the red sauce, you can have Alfredo sauce. Um, Dollar Tree has Alfredo sauce also in a can. It's Prego. I don't buy that because um, my kids don't like it as much as the Great Value brand from Walmart, but it's a little bit cheaper. And once again, those cans are easier to store. Then there's also sauces like pesto sauce. Walmart has a whole variety of pesto sauces, so that's probably the way to go for pesto sauce. If you like pesto sauce, my Dollar Tree has had pesto in the past. It doesn't have it right now, but they have before, but we didn't really care for the taste as much as some other brands. So that's something else you have to keep in mind. There's other um, factors you have to account for besides just the price, because if it's something that your family won't eat because they don't like that brand as well, then obviously it doesn't matter if it's cheaper, you don't wanna buy something your family won't eat. But a lot of times you're getting the same thing for a lower price when you compare. Something like the white rice, for example, or the pinto beans. They're gonna be the same whether they're great value brand or Dollar Tree brand or name brand or anything else. And of course, elbow macaronis, you can use in a lot of different meals. You can use them in like a chop suey goulash kind of dish. You can use them in some macaroni and cheese. You can use them um, in like a Hoover stew, which is a very, very economical depression era dish. There's so many things you can use elbow macaroni in, so that's another good one to have. And then you can also use your pastas, especially the shapes in different casseroles, just the same as anything else. It's a great way to use a really inexpensive basic starch, like the rice or the pasta, to, um, to stretch all of your more expensive ingredients that you need to make them last. Things like canned meats, for example, you can have some canned vegetables, something like a Campbell soup, and um, some pasta, and a canned meat or fish, and you can make a lovely casserole. We all know I'm a fan of casseroles. Now, speaking of the soups, the Campbell soups, for instance, these two I picked up on clearance. Um, Dollar Tree can actually be a better way to go for your Campbell soups. Walmart has the really basic like cream of mushroom, the really cheap ones, their normal price is $1.26, so it's ever so slightly cheaper at Dollar Tree. You may think that a penny is not really a big difference, one or two cents here and there, but it does add up, especially if you're buying in bulk and over time. Now, these are the ones I grabbed. These were marked down because they were dented. But in general, Dollar Tree has a slightly better price on the Campbell's soups. If you don't mind the generic brand, Walmart has their own Great Value brand of these soups for much cheaper. They're 68 cents for the Great Value. This is one of the rare, um, the rare instances where I really feel like I prefer to go with the name brand. I feel like they're better. They taste better. You can tell the difference when you look at them. But the other thing about Dollar Tree, besides the fact that these cans are slightly cheaper, is certain soups like tomato soup and chicken noodle, they actually sell a... A larger size can for that same dollar 25. The next thing that I have here are these coffee syrups. Um, these are French vanilla or vanilla. I also got some salted caramel but apparently those didn't get brought in or didn't get put up here. These are from Dollar Tree and this is a clear winner here for me. We use these to flavor our coffee and if you're going to be drinking possibly instant coffee or you know old stored coffee in an emergency situation you might want something to um, flavor it up. We've been buying our coffee syrups at Dollar Tree for a quite a long time. They've been through several brands. This brand was amazing and they haven't been carrying it for quite a while. We still have a lot stored up in our basement which is another benefit to having a good food storage is that it can protect you from you know your favorite things being discontinued at least for a while. Then they went through this brand which was disgusting. It's basically inedible I would say. Uh, we got rid of them all and I hate to do that. I hate to just throw away money, but they were not good. So I had high hopes when this one came out. We did try it. It's not quite as good as the first one, but it's definitely passable. So now we're stocking up on this one. And then of course the shelf stable milk. Dollar Tree is the clear winner in shelf stable milk. They are, it's one of the things they're really known for, I think, when it comes to their food section. This is a great deal. $1.25 for a quart of milk. They've got all types of milk. They've got whole milk, 1%, 2%. They've got almond milk and oat milk. They've got just so much variety. And these are really great to have on hand. They're not gonna be able to store nearly as long as like your powdered milks. So you definitely wanna find a milk powder that you like. 
that's acceptable to you to have in your food storage. But these are really great because they're super convenient. You don't need to add water to them or anything. They're ready to go. Just open them up, shake them and open them up. We tend to use these um, whenever we just happen to be out of milk and that way we keep them rotated. So we're always buying more to replace. And then I've got these three 20 packs of maple brown sugar instant oatmeal. At Walmart, you can get 20 of these for $3.32, whereas at Dollar Tree, you get only six for $1.25, so these end up a lot cheaper per packet. This is the flavor that my kids definitely prefer, so I buy mostly this. Now, if you really wanna save money on your oatmeal, you would definitely want to include in your food storage some plain rolled oats, old-fashioned oats or quick oats or both. We do store quite a few of both. Um, but I do like to have these packets on hand just because they're handy, convenient, easy. They're already flavored up. You only have to add boiling water. You don't have to cook them at all. Um, they're individually packaged, so they're great to include in, you know, things like a bug out bag you're packing, little individual MRE packs that you're making, things like that. But if you do go with some of the regular rolled oats, Walmart is cheaper than Dollar Tree. Walmart's um, regular oatmeal is a 42 ounce package for $3.98, whereas Dollar Tree, I couldn't find any at my Dollar Tree um, this trip, but I know I've gotten it there before, and the one I got before has been a one pound package, 16 ounces for $1.25. So it ends up cheaper per ounce if you get the uh, great value at Walmart. But if you really wanna save money on your oats, if you have an account at Azure Standard, um, even if you just buy a smaller bag, like a five pound bag of oats at Azure Standard, you're gonna save money over either Dollar Tree or, or Walmart. So um, I would look into that option if you wanna buy in bulk and save a lot of money because if you buy in the larger bulk packages, it's even less expensive. So next I've got some snacky foods and Dollar Tree um, is really winning out for me on this, just these snacky foods. There's definitely some um, snacks that are superior at Walmart and better priced at Walmart. But for these particular things, now we do try to keep a good supply of snack food on hand anytime you are in an emergency or you're eating out of your food storage people always tend to wish they had stored more snacks. They're comforting, they're easy to just eat. You don't have to cook them, you don't have to do anything, they don't need refrigeration. They're just a great thing to have on hand to just grab. Now these whales, my kids love. At Walmart, it's a 16 ounce package and it's 328. This is uh, this is from Dollar Tree. It's only a seven ounce package, but at $1.25, it comes out cheaper per ounce to buy these. It doesn't really bother me to buy um, a lot more packages and store a lot more packages even because they're smaller packages i'd rather do that and pay less i just open these up and put them in my canister i have a canister that holds about seven or eight packs of these and then we put the rest of the boxes that we store we have some in our food surplus room and then if we have even more that don't fit in there then they go down cellar and we rotate that way the other thing is these packs of scooby snacks they're just like a graham cracker snack um my daughter likes these well probably all the kids like them but I like to pack these with um, Nutella, little mini Nutella packs for my daughter. And I've been buying them at Walmart for quite a while. At Walmart, it is $6.52 for a 12 pack, a pack of 12 bags. So if you do the math, even though this is only three in this package, getting three for $1.25 comes out cheaper per pack. They're 54 cents a pack at Walmart and 42 cents a pack at Dollar Tree. I hadn't seen these at our Dollar Tree in a very long time. So when I saw these, I grabbed as many as I could. And then when I went back again and they had restocked, I grabbed some more. I will probably keep grabbing several every time I go in just because this is something that I will always pr probably purchase. And so as long as I can find them at Dollar Tree and save money, I wanna take advantage of that. Now this next area is someplace that Dollar Tree really shines in my opinion. Uh, it's individual, individually packaged um, little cracker packs, um, packaged in individual servings. It's not each cracker, but there's a serving of several crackers. So these Greta ones are really delicious. I've opened them up and tried them to make sure that we liked them. They're packaged um, in individual servings. I think there's four or six in this package. I can't remember. But they had been out of these at my Dollar Tree for a while and I was really glad to find them again because these are great to use, for example, with something like this, tuna salad in a pouch, or they've got chicken salad in a pouch. You can get pulled pork with barbecue sauce in a pouch. There's all sorts of things you can get like that. And it makes a great little MRE pack if you're packing up homemade MREs. You can pack a pack of this and an individual pack of crackers that people can put it on and you've got an easy, you know, kind of lunchy kind of meal. I also like to get these snack time little stack pack, snack packs. Um, these are kind of like Ritz and there's six of those packs in here. Walmart kind of falls short in that area. They do have the Ritz, um, I can't remember what they call the little, the little stacks 
um, where they have them wrapped in smaller stacks. But I feel like these are a little bit better wrapped to stay fresher longer. And then these, we like these a lot as well. And these are both from Dollar Tree. However, these packages that you can put on them, these are a better deal at Walmart. These are only $1.16 at Walmart, and of course they're $1.25 at Dollar Tree. Regular canned tuna I found is also a better deal at Walmart. A lot of the cans of tuna are right around a dollar um, for the like chunk light tuna, so that's a much better deal um, than Dollar Tree. But however, Dollar Tree did have an albacore, a chunk albacore tuna for $1.25, and I do think that that was cheaper than Walmart. And also their other tuna packs um, and chicken packs, all those packs that are not, you know, this is already tuna salad. It already has mayonnaise and seasonings and things added, vegetables. They have some that are just plain tuna and plain chicken, and sometimes they have seasonings. And those all seem to be a better price at Walmart as well, all under $1.25. The only exception being the really fancy tuna in the olive oil. Um, that was cheaper at Dollar Tree. It's a different brand, but I've heard that it's good. And next I've got some non-food items that um, I've been picking up lately that have really stood out to me as being a really great buy either at Dollar Tree or Walmart. Now matches is one. Matches is something that you definitely need to have all kinds of. You need to have ways to start a fire. There are just going to come certain times when the only way that you're going to be able to be warm or to cook may be to start a fire. So you want to have many ways to start a fire and have lots of them. So these matches are all 97 cents at Walmart for the box or for the pack of little boxes. So that is a really great deal compared to Dollar Tree. And then some personal care items. I am a big fan of this at Walmart over Dollar Tree. This has got two nail clippers. I really like this one. And then it has a big toenail clipper and three other tools as well. And this is only $1.24. For $1.25 at Dollar Tree, you can get the set of two nail clippers or you can get this manicure set but I prefer the one from Walmart better. And then dental hygiene, um, these packs of toothbrushes at Walmart are still only a dollar. I'm surprised that they still have these for a dollar but I'm pleasantly surprised. They've got firm and they've got soft and there's six toothbrushes. They're all different colors so it would be really easy to tell your family members apart. Um, we like to keep plenty of these on hand because in an emergency situation, if you aren't able to get to the store or you aren't able to get things from the store, you're definitely gonna still wanna be able to keep your teeth clean. That's gonna be very important. And Dollar Tree does have a six pack of toothbrushes, but it's $1.25 obviously. Now this says eight piece set, but it's six toothbrushes and the cup and the lid. So if you really need the cup and the lid and you wanna pay the extra $1.25 for it, then this might be a good deal for you. But I've bought this before um, several times when it was a dollar. So I've got the cups already. So I would rather get the dollar toothbrushes at Walmart. And then toothpaste, that's kind of a toss up. It's really close. Um, it's a really close contest on the toothpaste. Walmart has this size package, this 2.4 ounce package. This particular one was 97 cents at Walmart. This is the size that a lot of the packages are at Dollar Tree. And of course they're $1.25. But then Walmart also had that three pack of large tubes, which ended up even being even cheaper per ounce for the toothpaste. The small tube was 30.4 cents an ounce, whereas the other one was 29.1 cents an ounce. But Dollar Tree did have this larger tube, which came in at 31 cents an ounce. So it was almost as cheap as getting the bulk pack from Walmart. If you don't care about the name brand, Dollar Tree did have this no name brand that was even larger. And so it made it cheaper than anything at Walmart. However, I didn't recognize this brand at all. And for something that we put in our mouth, I wasn't really that comfortable buying this. So I'd rather pay a little bit extra at Walmart. But Dollar Tree can be a great place for body washes and shampoo. We are not that picky about the body wash that we use or the shampoo that we use. Conditioner, I'm a little bit more picky, so I would tend to go with something that I know and pay a little bit extra for it. But at Walmart, the cheapest body wash that my Walmart had was the Suave Body Wash for $2.97. I like that body wash just fine. That's a lot to pay for it. It used to be much cheaper. Dollar Tree had this White Rain brand, which is very comparable to, to Suave in my opinion. It's the same size 18 ounce bottle and it's only $1.25. So I definitely went with that from Dollar Tree. Shampoo, as long as we have a good conditioner, the shampoo we use doesn't really matter that much to us. So the, this is a really big bottle. It smells really good. It looks like it's gonna be good. We're gonna try this. We've used plenty of shampoos from Dollar Tree and they're just fine as long as we have a conditioner that we like to use afterwards. You definitely want to make sure that you're going to have a way to clean your hair no matter how long it is that you're unable to get things from the store. I did buy one of the conditioners that matched that shampoo just to try it out because it really did smell good and, and look pretty good. So 
we're gonna give it a try because you never know and then a couple other dollar treat this one right here i actually use this to wash my face i know that's gonna horrify some people but i use i like to use this dollar tree body wash this dermasil moisturizing one to wash my face so that's a really good deal for something to wash my face i just picked this one up to try it's fragrance free it looks like it's going to be really good it sounds really good for a dollar 25 it's worth giving it a try i don't think i would use it on my body because i prefer a scented body wash but it will probably be good for my face now as far as pets go i mostly like to stick with walmart i definitely wouldn't recommend buying your dog or cat food at dollar tree for a number of different reasons so i don't do that and it probably wouldn't be cheaper anyways when you compare the size of the of the packages However, they have a lot of the same type of treats. Um, it used to be you could get these at either place and it didn't really matter, but now these are $1.25 at Dollar Tree and they're only less than a dollar at Walmart. However, if you do see these dental treats at Dollar Tree, definitely pick those up because this is a really good deal. The package is a little bit smaller than Walmart, but the price difference is so extreme that this is a great deal. I grab these whenever I see them. And then the final thing that I got here is from Dollar Tree, and that's one thing that Dollar Tree is great for, is finding all these neat, um, random little unique things. These are a portable screwdriver. If you take a look at this, it's just a keychain size. It's got three different small tips that can store inside of the uh, inside of the screwdriver and I think that that would also be a great place to store some other things like maybe some emergency cash or something like that and nobody would probably ever think to look inside of a screwdriver like that except everyone who just watched this video when they see me out with my little portable screwdriver Okay guys, that's what we've added to our prepper pantry this week. I really love both Walmart and Dollar Tree for preps, but in this haul, Dollar Tree was the winner. Let me know your favorite bargains that you like to pick up at Dollar Tree versus Walmart and vice versa. Remember to always keep prepping a little more every week when you can. Every penny and every minute that you invest in your preps is an investment in your future. And we're entering a time where we're really gonna see the payoff. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and Apollo today. We love you guys and we appreciate you so much. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a puppy emoji down in the comments and tell us about your pets and how you prep for them. And check out this playlist right here for some more budget prepping ideas. I'm Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Say bye everybody. He's a sleepy boy. Can you show your beautiful blue eyes? Can you show?